after that, I was trying to figure out what am I going to do because I couldn't go back to construction. Right. Um, then I start, didn't feel that well, and then they found cancer. Oh. And so I went through cancer and I went through chemo, and I'm still thinking the whole time, what am I going to do? Right. So I had all this stuff in my garage, and I said, I'm going to start making these. And I started making them and just putting them on Facebook as, you know, just so people could see them. Uh -huh. And then it just blew up from there. Yeah. No, as soon as you put them on there, I mean, everybody's like, oh, my God, i got to have one of them. Yeah, and, and everybody, you know, jigs have been made since the 40s. Right. And they've always been blue and white, green and yellow, yeah. fried egg. You know, here, like, 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 there's my scrambled egg. That's, that's a real scrambled egg, you know. <laughs> And so I thought if I would do something different, and this is what I came up with. It's really great stuff, man. So, and when I was 13 years old, I used to work the half-day boats and three-quarter day boats at Pier Point Landing. Okay. The guy that taught me how to fish uh, was Taddy himself. Oh, okay. And he used to come out of the boat, and him and I would sit up in the bow of the boat. I'm a 13-year-old kid. Right. And he's teaching me all this stuff about, wow. about jig fishing and all this other thing, and that's real education. Yeah, sure. And that's basically where it grew from. I've been fishing ever since. And I had my own tackle shop for about 20 years called the Bent Rod. Uh -huh. That was in Tustin. Okay. And I did all saltwater uh, stuff. Yeah, okay. And I wanted to get back into the industry. So that's where it all came from. Wow.